mean, I've been labelled lots of things over the last so many years, you know, like, you know, fine artist, textile designer, textile artist, craftsperson, printmaker. I'm, I'm known mostly to do installation based works and, and, and large scale installations. Most of the time I actually use computers to model like what I'm after. The computer's a really important tool for me to kind of like get those sort of marquettes down or get those sort of like ideas down um, and sort of simulations. I do a lot of simulations. For me that's more important than drawing, like that's my drawing. Then I'll start experimenting, exploring materials and, and, and media to kind of get the effects that I want from that piece of work. I use a number of like digital technologies to kind of produce my work uh, from digital printing processes and ink technologies to laser technologies to 3D printing and you know my I mean I could be called a multimedia artist as well because I use video I use sort of like light sound activated lighting in my work I use technology and I cross over a whole lot of things so I'm a thing person. <laughs> I, look, I look at the male psyche as a major concept within my works. Um, emotions and men, men and emotions. But the reality is that most of this work like most of this work is conceptually based on the fact that I have a neurological condition, degenerative neuro neurological condition. When I was diagnosed, I was, um, that, 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 that was kind of a pivotal turning point really, another sort of key moment um, that uh, made me much more focused and much more diligent about sort of producing work and, and the work, my work changed as well because it affects people in different ways and for me my major problem is pain and rigidity of muscles. But there's also all these non-motor symptoms of, of Parkinson's that people don't understand, like hyper-anxiety and sort of like depression, and, and a lot of people with this condition get those things. So for me to kind of address those kinds of concepts in my work just seems quite natural now to do. You can either, either give in to some of the conditions or you can kind of like basically use them to as a positive kind of outcome and actually do something with it and I basically when I was dying I was cracked a couple of bottles of sort of Moet and drank those and went oh yeah shit okay shit happens and next day I was in the studio doing art. My latest show is called Surrender uh, it's um, on a Fort Delta in uh, the city. Fort Delta is an iteration of earlier work that I did for the Dark Mofo, Mona Dark Mofo Festival. It's conceptually about the male psyche and physicality and masculinity and emotions and, and uh, men camouflaging emotions, how that impacts on the psyche of men. Um, it also refers to, surrender refers to actually surrender the process of making. So it's about actually for me uh, just release and that's surrender I guess, so like surrendering to life and just what happens and, and just, just enjoying, enjoy, enjoying it. Every day is a gift and uh, you use it as well as you can. <laughs>